The observer would like to advise that the following video comes with a trigger warning. The content in this video is of a sensitive nature, so please beware that the topic of this video may trigger you. The observer recommends that you consider your own mental health before you watch this video. things going on um so i just wanted to talk about it really i want to talk about his relationship with roger like some of the weird things going on with roger also the fact the manager from the hotel has started saying that liam's ex-girlfriend was on the floor above him when he died so all those things need to be looked into um i also think there's a slight discrepancy with how liam fell um because i've been looking into kind of the rates of people that do jump to their deaths and how they would normally fall fall um, so I'm finding it all a little bit confusing how he fell the way he fell. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to talk about a few little things. Um, likewise, if people don't want to hear about Liam Payne or you absolutely um, find it offensive to talk about Liam Payne, then you can absolutely leave the room. But people do ask me about it all the time and we are going to talk about it, just like the whole of the internet's talking about it. Um, so yeah, we are going to talk about it. Um, I'm, in, um, I'm in Brighton next week, Wednesday. I was watching the podcast. Yeah, he's such a wee soul. He is, um, it's, um, it's really, really sad what's happened. It's really tragic. But I think, um, I wanted to start by playing the, the nine, nine one one call because the wording in it is really strange. Like when we first heard it, yeah, we were all in shock and we were all like, oh my God, you know, what's happened here? When you listen back, there are certain things that he, they're saying, like when he is conscious, he is smashing everything up. So that shows that you actually know they're raiding the hotel again. They raided it yesterday as well. Um, when they say things like, oh, when he's conscious, it means he's sometimes not conscious, which means it's even worse that what you're saying. Now, we also know in a fall of this height, which wasn't a massive, massive height, for him to have 25 separate injuries, including great head trauma, that seems bizarre to me. Um, his internal injuries were also awful. But we're just going to talk about it, and I'm going to say, like, everything we talk about in this live is allegedly because we're working off media reports and things going on, and we obviously don't know for sure what happened to Liam, so it is just, you know, thanks, Gray, thanks, Mello. Um, so it is just kind of hearsay and allegedly for the moment. I think you know it all. Imagine if that was a real poor breach. Uh, no followers, no following. Must be something to do with Tenerife, Tom. Can someone get rid of the poor breach account, please? Um, yeah. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the pumpkin. Hey, Merrick. Oh! <laughs> Hello, anyone who's come in. Um, yes, yeah, so we're just going to talk quickly about that. Um, and I have been in the shower since we last spoke, um, despite the fact the heating guy hasn't come yet. But I just thought the shower works, just the bath doesn't. So I thought I'm going to have one because I can't wait. Um, yeah, so first of all, I want to play the... Uh, I'll put up a picture of Liam. Um, mods, if anyone comes in um, giving me shit about talking about for Liam, just, just mute them, because I don't really need everyone's permission, and no one has to watch the lives if they don't want to. I'm sure Delusive Angie's live if people want to go and watch a shit show. Um, great, if you comment, I'll mod you up again, because I might need your help, because um, I don't know what mods are in here. If you ever Has he already left? Um... Oh, my God. oh, thank you. Um, add moderator. Confirm. There you go. Um, yeah, so first of all, I think it's really bizarre um, for someone to jump forward and not have a massive great height for him to have landed on his back. So that tells you that he would either have fallen backwards or the only other way for him to have fallen is if someone picked him up in a baby position and threw him off. Now, there was no chair in the balcony, so he hasn't done that himself. He hasn't propositioned himself. And the only other option would be that Liam was trying to climb over the balcony when he fell onto his back. But you, it would make sense that if you jump forward, you're going to have severe facial injuries, which is what we see in most jumping victims. Um, now, just to describe to you, because if something, if some of you haven't seen the picture of Liam dead, I will describe it to you um, so you can understand how he fell. So Liam is on his back. His hat is about that far away from his body. Um, and he has his arms out to the side and his legs are bent down at a funny angle, but, but open. Um, 
Cassie, it was only, it was only it was not that high compared to normal jumping thing. It wasn't like off the off the tall of a sky like skyscraper or anything like that for him to have done loads of different movements. Um, why did Roger make an Instagram around the same time we became friends? So Amy, unfortunately, the pictures of Liam were put all over X, and, and some of them are still on X. So um, unfortunately, a lot of us have seen the pictures, whether we wanted to or not, when I was doing case research. Um, one thing I will say is that also, yes, this one's just full. Um, there was no injury at all to his face, okay? So he had he had no injury to his face. He looked exactly the same as he did in life. Um, no injuries at all. His t-shirt was pulled up. You couldn't see any injuries on his stomach either. Um, so for him to have 25 separate injuries, he had blood around his head, um, like a halo of blood. Um, so he had obviously severe injuries to the back of his head, which I believe would be one of the things that actually killed him. Okay, so there's no problem. Um, some of the things that have come out have just been a little bit worrying. So let's listen to the 911 call, they call it there. Um, first of all, um, be prepared. This is, this is what This happened. is translated, so. Good morning. I'm calling from Hotel Casa Sur Palermo, Costa Rica 6032. What is happening, sir? We have a guest drunk on drugs and alcohol. When he's conscious, he's breaking everything in the room. Flight was in danger. Oh, sorry. That's correct. I just Hotel Casa Sur Palermo, Costa Rica 6032. What is happening, sir? We have a guest drunk on drugs and alcohol. When he's conscious, he's breaking everything in the room. So listen to that. When he's conscious, he's breaking everything in the room, which leads to the fact that he actually was unconscious several times then got back up and then just instantly started smashing things up. So the hotel are admitting, like, they knew at certain times he was unconscious. So they say when he's conscious as if it happened several times. We also hear the, the hotel guy go, good morning, and we know it was 5 p.m. when Liam died in Argentina. So that, he, that could be down to stress, panic, whatever, but he does actually say what he says, like, when he's conscious, he's smashing things up. He said alcohol and drugs. That's correct. You said Costa Rica intersecting where? Costa Rica 6032. Repeat. Costa Rica 6032. How is the hotel called? Casa Azul Palermo. We need to send someone with urgency because I don't know if the guest's life is in danger. Because he's in a room with a balcony and we were afraid he could do something that threatens his life. How long is... So again, that's quite a weird thing to say, right? It is quite a weird thing to say he's in a room with a balcony and we're worried about a threat to his life when just a little while earlier, uh, later, Liam will end up dead off that same balcony. So it seems strange to even mention that, to kind of foresee, and some people are saying that Liam had already fallen at this point, which is why the hotel knew. Um, but then we know the police officers, when they arrived at the scene, heard the thud. So to me, it seems like he did fall once they got there but it could be that it was like we know a chair right now this is weird a chair is on Liam's legs and the chair is not broken so it could be that someone threw a chair down off the balcony in order to, to create that FUD and Liam had already fallen or something had happened to him to, to mean that he went off that balcony How long has he been there? Is it a long stay hotel? The guest has been there for the past three days. You don't any other information because you can't get in, right? No. We are also notifying medical emergency attention, sir. <clears throat> so they say they can't get into the room. So they say we cannot get into him, which is really strange because that particular hotel is a really posh hotel and they actually don't even have key cards anymore. They have an app. They have an app system. Well, get a rest woman, my word. Oh, Danny, take your face for a shit. Um, they have a app type system. Um, which means you go to your room, you put in your code on your app and it opens your door. Now there has been reviews on their hotel webpage that says, I, I stayed there, we had a lovely time, but we struggled so many times to get back into our room because the app wasn't working. So if, if the guests have an app to get in, then definitely the hotel have an app where they could have unlocked his door at any time. Because, so why aren't you just saying like we could get in, we've chosen not to. It doesn't make any sense service we are asking you to send someone with urgency because we are doing that any other data to give me who are you i'm the desk manager person in charge of the place yes it has been notified what is your name sir Esteban. thanks for calling be online 
No, Are you no, sending no, police no, to? No, police from the delegation, no, let me no, confirm. No, no, only medical emergency attention service. No. Don't worry, be nervous. So if you heard him then, I've just gone back a little bit. He says, are you sending police? She says, yes. And he says, and then she says, I'm sending out a certain type of police. And he's like, no, only mental health team police. Like, don't send actual police. But why? Like, why not? Like, if he's there and he is truly smashing up your whole hotel, you can't control him. Why do you give a fuck about what police are coming out? Like, in that moment, you're worried about his life. 100% because of the drugs, Nikki. The hotel worked from day one to cover up what they had done and to they didn't give a fuck about his life. And if for a second they had thought to themselves, it's a, lot, a matter of life or death, instead of just thinking, like, what are we going to kind of blame are we going to take in this? Which now, they're not just responsible for a boy who's been put into rehab, they're responsible for a dead boy, dead man. Yeah, they're asking you to send someone with urgency yeah. because... We are doing that. Any other data to give me? Who are you? I'm the desk manager. The person in charge yeah, of the yeah. place? Yes. It has been notified. Yeah, what is your name, sir? Esteban. Thanks for calling. Be online. No, are you no, sending police to? Police from the delegation. Let me confirm. No, no. Only medical emergency attention service. No. Don't worry, because they have already been notified. Because, as you said, he's under the influence of alcohol and drugs. Medical emergency attention service personnel can't enter alone. You can ask up to the police, but if medical emergency attention service needs them, they will notify you. Good. Okay, perfect. Have a good day. Thanks. You too. So what about that 911? So, was there a reason you put that hotel or just poor quits? We don't know, Sue. I am starting to feel there are some unanswered questions around... Roger Norris, who was the last guy to be seen with Liam. Because reports coming out today, obviously, about his relationship with Roger, is that after Liam's addiction issues and mental health issues, he had become fully reliant on Roger. He had started to call Roger his management. He had started to ask Roger questions about what he should do, what he shouldn't do, what roles he should take on. And he had started to kind of live a little bit, from what it sounds like, under the control of... of um, of Roger. Um, so Roger is a businessman, one of the most important people in Argentina from what we can work out, someone who's worth a lot of money and has got massive business dealings, like worth billions in Argentina. And he's someone who at some stage in the future has become really close friends, thank you for the gifts guys, um, with Liam Payne and was with Liam Payne an hour before Liam died. He's in lots of the photographs from the lobby. He is stood there greeting fans with Liam. He says he stormed out about an hour before Liam's death, stormed out of the hotel. Now, let me just get up some of this stuff. So one thing I found really, really interesting today is in the Express newspaper, um, which tends to be quite a good source, to be fair. And it says, Liam Payne mystery as hotel manager claims Liam's ex-girlfriend was staying on the floor above at the hotel. The hotel manager insisted ex One Direction member Liam Payne's ex-partner was around and had seen Liam on the night of his death. The Buenos Aires hotel manager who made an emergency call about Liam Payne before he plunged to his death said that the singer's ex-partner was definitely staying at the same hotel at the same time as well. Esteban Grassi told Argentina TV programme he was seen alone but his ex-partner was there. And that's the same man you just heard on the 911 call. Asked on El Treque show Telenoque, so she was staying at the hotel too? And the manager said, yes, a floor above, yes. Liam's ex-girlfriend was on the floor above. It was not made clear who Mr Grassi, who was understood to have been among three hotel workers prosecutors said last week, had been questioned, who he was referring to, which ex-girlfriend. Now we know that Kate Cassidy, his current girlfriend, was already back in Florida. And we also know that one of the reasons that Liam met Roger and became friends with Roger is because Roger is good friends of the family of Maya. And Maya is the one who is accusing Liam of stalking her and being a domestic abusive male. She's the one that was doing the podcast in the days that he, up to when he died. She's the one that said a lot of things about him. She's the one that's done a lot of the damage to his reputation. And I cannot say whether it's true or not what happened. Um, 
but this hotel manager is saying this that that his ex-girlfriend was there um which i find really really interesting because we've not heard any of this his girlfriend his girlfriend had left before he booked into that hotel um it is absolutely heartbreaking use a sarah no um what else did i want to find hey Soph. so the mail today have got an article saying it just says liam's ex-girlfriend was staying in the same hotel in the room above uh, the, the the thing above him so how liam payne came to rely on the argentinian friend who helped him back to his Buenos Aires hotel room. And this is Roger here with Liam. And it says Liam Payne had turned to a South American friend to give him professional advice and personal advice over the final six months of his life. Multiple sources confirm that Payne, who was tragically found dead in Buenos Aires on Wednesday last week, after falling from the third floor window of his hotel room, referred to the Argentinian pal Rob, Rob, Roger as his manager. He and Roger had been living in one another's pocket in Wellington, Florida, and had come back to Argentina as well. Norez is close to Megabucks investor Gonalzo Avendo and lives in the latter's guest house in Florida. And that's how they met. Norez is an energy fund boss, and at the moment he's just got a contract to build like 600 homes with a certain type of energy in Argentina, in Buenos Aires, which is worth million, billions of pounds. Um, so he is very well known in Argentina. Nor's an energy fund boss with one of the last people to see Payne alive and was photographed taking him back up to his room several times. Um, when the singer behaved erratically in the hotel lobby. You should be ashamed. Amy, you should be ashamed to keep repeating yourself when no one's taking you seriously, love. Liam's died and people are allowed to talk about it. Um, it's like a parrot. So it says, over the last six months, he didn't have a formal manager, but he would talk about Roger as his manager and he would rely on him over the last six months. It seemed to be less about him trying to help him with serious addiction problems and more to do with Norez pushing Liam into taking up new ideas, new projects and new ventures. Another source said Roger was someone to call if you needed to get through to Liam because Liam respected him and, sorry Brooklyn, and was asking his advice on lots of things. But we also know that Roger recently has got himself into billions of pounds of debt and it was only when he took all this new project of doing this energy for these homes that he was given um, a company actually um, paid off his debt to get him to do this new project. So I just wonder how much of his intentions for Liam were good and positive and how much was it for to get Liam to push his money into certain directions and to do certain things because it seems like a really weird friendship there are videos online where Liam is quite blatantly off his head and dancing and stuff like that and, and Roger's not phased by it he doesn't seem concerned he doesn't seem completely worried we know if you're someone's friend right and I'll, I'll say this because I, I could say it because I want to um if you're somebody's friend right and Liam is in the most vulnerable state of his life on several different narcotics, not acting very well, smashing up places. He's down in the lobby, he's convulsing and he's passing out. Um, and we know that there was loads of drugs in his hotel room. Why are you not getting him help? Why are you not getting him help? Like, you're his friend. Like, you don't care about the media. You don't care about his fame. You don't care about any of those things. Surely you care about his life. So why not do something? Why are you storming out of the hotel an hour before he dies when you know he is absolutely struggling and not doing well, but you just walk out? Maybe because he'd seen him in that state before, but a friend doesn't do that shit. A friend would know that Liam had, what does it say? Young Philly is innocent, she lied. You keep saying this, Tell. Why don't you look at the actual information available online? how the prosecution team in Australia have said they have pictures so serious of the damage that young Philly did that it could not have been consensual that caused those marks on that woman's body. Go and actually do things. You're just as bad. You're using for gain money and followers. Joyce, I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't need followers, love. Um, I do okay. Thank you, Anime Vox. So 
you're very dangerous doing this what way in talking um thank you for noticing so yeah i think it's very um you you have to look at the situation um you have to look at the situation where who is this roger why is he constantly around liam why do, why do this oh no um why do all these things keep going wrong like why did liam stay behind with just roger like what was going on i don't i don't do i run um i run a true crime page yeah where we talk about crime and mystery deaths and stuff all the time like that's what we do um if people don't like it there's a million other creators you can come and watch on the app who talk about absolute shit you can go and watch the certain creators that drink a lot of alcohol and then piss their pants like you don't have to be in here um in here we do talk about things all things to do with true crime and we always will so you know i don't need people's permission so then we've got the riddle of Liam Payne's friend Roger is solved. Man spotted One Direction star in Buenos Aires Hotel an hour before he died. It's Argentine energy tycoon. So we do see that he is here with Liam an hour before he died. Um, TDB, I'm actually going to be a um, a judge on a talent show tonight. So we're gonna, we're not going to be doing crimes. I do have a, a birthday battle with Miss Remy. Um, so it says Liam spent his final hours with the energy boss so when was Liam taking all of this stuff if his friend who's got his best intentions for him is with him the whole time so when is all of this happening because it doesn't make any sense hey G it doesn't make any sense how nobody is is kind of talking about like Roger why didn't you stop this like Liam's family must be absolutely pissed off with Roger like you were there like, why didn't you phone us? Why didn't you phone his girlfriend? Why didn't you phone the ambulance? Why didn't you phone the police? Joe, I get what you're saying. The friend isn't responsible for him. But let me tell you something. The, the word friend, yeah, means that you would protect, look after someone, keep someone safe. If I was sat here now and my best friend was sat next to me and she got out a needle and started trying to inject, I'm not just going to go, hmm, you're bad. It, it's, it's an absolute human thing. That, you're, that you would look out for and try and keep your friends safe. We know by the time Roger left the hotel, Liam had already been on the floor several times convulsing. So he was in a lot of danger, medically in danger, drug and juice maybe, but in danger. And nobody, including his so-called best friend, stepped up to do anything. No one, nothing. So if you've just come in, one thing I was talking about a minute ago, that the Express, which tend to be quite a good source of information, Express newspaper, one of the more serious ones, has said Liam Payne mystery as hotel manager claims Liam's ex-girlfriend was staying on the floor above Liam at the time he died. The hotel manager insisted ex One Direction member Liam Payne's ex-partner was around on the night the star died. The Buenos Aires hotel manager who made the emergency call about Liam Payne. Nothing, I'm not thinking to online, they can use AI. <laughs> Okay, um, he said he was seen alone, but his ex-partner was around. Asked on El Treque show, Telenoque, she said she was staying in the hotel too. Yes, he said, a floor above. And when they said, was she in the third floor suit Liam was in? He said, no, she was one above him. It's not made clear at this time who Mr. Grassi, who is understood to be among three hotel workers prosecutors have questioned this week, is referring to when he says Liam's ex-girlfriend was there. So, how was he stalking her if she was in the same, if she was gone to the same hotel where he was known to be? Um, and we also know that we also know that Roger Norris, the last man to be seen with Liam, is good friends with her family. So, it just seems weird. That this is just being dropped out there. Like, oh, by the way. Um, One Direction fans have named Maya as, be Maya as being there. Well. I just, uh, I think the main thing concerning me is the extent of his injuries for a fall that wasn't that high in the grand scheme of things and the way that his body loud and um, landed. So his body cannot be taken out of Argentina until full toxicology and a pathology report has been done. Um, so until they have a full report of what drugs he had taken, how his injuries, how they were caused, and they can actually write it down a pure accidental death or suicide, they will not let his body go. 
they have given his father a full security team while he's there. One thing I found really disrespectful, because I did a video yesterday saying that um, Liam's father was going to stay the whole time uh, until he could bring Liam's body back, which is such a father thing to do, right? Um, such a protective thing and so sad, like so sad. Um, is a lot of people in the video were like, what about his mum? Like if I was his mum, I couldn't have left him there. And I was just like, you absolute bastards, man. Don't ever judge a mother who's grieving. You do not know what she's going through. He's got siblings she's got to be there for. She literally, I don't even know where his mother is right now, but if she's come back to the UK, she 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 has just lost her baby, man. Um, and we don't know that her husband hasn't said, look, I've got this. I will not leave him by himself. Like, I will not leave this place without our boy. Like, it just makes me sad that people just think they can say that about a mother. Like, you'll have no idea. The mum was over there, yeah, but it seems that the father said that he won't leave Liam and he's gonna, he's part of the investigation as well, his father, he's going everywhere he needs to go. He was there yesterday when they were raiding the hotel. Um, but you know, if she could be supporting Bear and Cheryl, exactly, she could absolutely be planning a funeral. She could be with his sisters. She could be over here doing things to prepare for her boy returning home. Um, I, I, just, I just don't understand why people, his bodyguard's there as well, but I can't understand where his bodyguard was when Liam died, did he not have any bodyguard? I can't imagine why people judge his parents. Like seeing his father go to the balcony and like try to lean over and stuff and just see what happened. Um, it's just heartbreaking. Oh, literally I'm, I was never a One Direction fan. I couldn't name you two of their songs to be fair. Um, but I think it's tragic what's happened and I think um, I'm someone who struggled with addiction before, I'm someone who struggled with mental health issues before and I would hate to think that if anything happened to me people would be blaming it purely on that or saying like I was an addict or I was this or I was that. Like sometimes things are just really really sad, really tragic and a perfect storm of just like horrendous situations. Um, I just think there are certain things adding up that make it feel quite suspicious in nature. Um, and I don't know if Liam fell because he was in some kind of drug-induced kind of psychosis, but if he was, then it's kind of manslaughter because someone gave him the drugs that made him that way. I also think the hotel are fully complicit because they absolutely should have called the police way before an ambulance. As soon as they saw him convulsing just once, he, they should have had an ambulance there and he, Liam would still be here today. Yes, he may be a bit embarrassed. Yes, he may be all over the media. Yes, he may be back in rehab, but he'd be alive and Bear would still have a father. Instead, you've protected yourself and the fact that your hotel peddled drugs to him and they become aware of that at some point during the morning after 11 a.m. and then they wait till five o'clock until he's dead before they did anything. And it's disgusting. You can take the horse to water but cannot make it drink. Well, you can call an ambulance and get someone's life saved when they're convulsing on the floor and you think they could swallow their tongue, anything could happen to him. He's in a drug-induced state. He's smashing up the hotel. You would pin him to the floor if he kept trying to move. You would phone the ambulance and you would get him saved. So that you can lead a horse to water. You can't make it drink. It's bullshit. It's bullshit in the grand scheme of things. I'm not talking about getting him not to take drugs. He'd already taken them all. He was dying. Like, that was the time to do something. Um... Do you know what I mean? It's, it's crazy to say that. I'm not saying like, how do we keep Liam from going back on drugs? Like, oh, we don't know. We're talking about someone who is convulsing in a foreign country on all matter of substances, who is smashing up a room, whose eyes are rolling back in his head, and we're just returning him to his hotel room and closing the door so the other guests aren't put off by the state of him. And also so that we don't get done for peddling him drugs. Like you put yourself, your business and your reputation before this young man who is now dead and your hotel will never recover from it because the whole world knows what you've done. The hotel should be done for, um, for what's it called? Well, it's a company and they get done for manslaughter, corporate manslaughter, because their behavior is all added to his death. They should have Ellie, 100%. They should have had him down in the lobby on one of those on one of those couches or on the floor as soon as he started convulsing, even if two of the security guards had to sit on him because he'd still be alive right now. And they would just explain to the medical staff, like, we were worried. Like, do you know what I mean? At 11 a.m. ish, he was down in the lobby smashing up laptops because of an email we got, and then it went downhill, downhill, downhill. Then he sent arguing with sex workers in the lobby. And each time they're like, put him back in his room, put him back in his room. And Roger helped them to do it. The hotel needs to be done. Absolutely done. We don't know what the email was. 
that's what the reports say. The manager who made the 911 call is saying that Liam's ex-girlfriend was on the floor above. And we know from the 911 call that he says, oh, get a lively sad woman with your one follower, Jordan. Bun you. Um, we know that on the 911 call he says, when he is conscious, he begins smashing things up. So you knew several times he wasn't conscious and you still did nothing. So at the very least, if this is not suspicious, this is a complete accident, there was, yeah, we can play the call again. You have to listen to the word very carefully and especially listen to the end where the woman on the phone says, we'll send the police. And he says, no, 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 not the police. Just the emergency people, like not the police. So what about agency? Good morning. I'm calling from Hotel Casa San Palermo, Costa Rica 6032. What is happening, sir? We have a guest drunk on drugs and alcohol. When he's conscious, he's breaking everything in the room. You said alcohol and drugs? That's correct. You said Costa Rica intersecting where? Costa Rica 6032. Repeat. Costa Rica 6032. How is the hotel called? Casa Azul Palermo. We need to send someone with urgency because I don't know if the guest's life is in danger because he's in a room with a balcony and we were afraid he could do something that threatens his life. How long has he been there? Is it a long stay hotel? The guest has been there for the past three days. You don't any other information because you can't get in, right? No. We are also notifying medical emergency attention service. We are asking you to send someone with urgency because... We are doing that. Any other data to give me? Who are you? I'm the desk manager. Person in charge of Sky News. Yes. It has been notified. What is your name, sir? Esteban. Thanks for calling. Be online. Are you sending police to? Police from the delegation. Let me confirm. No, no. Only medical emergency attention service. Don't worry, because they have already been notified. Because, as you said, he's under the influence of alcohol and drugs. Medical emergency attention service personnel can't enter alone. You can ask that to the police, but if medical emergency attention service needs them, they will notify you. Good. Okay, perfect. So that is the, the call. It is obviously, I'm just going to pin this comment. Um, everyone needs to avoid this account online because um, it's a, it a woman who collects pictures of other people's children um, and says there's no problem as long as she just keeps on her phone. So, peace and love. Number one and two accounts, um, they are a fan of collecting other people's children. Um, can one of the mods just block that nonce if you don't mind? Um, so yeah, try and avoid that account. Um, yeah, so he said no. So he said no about the police. Um, peace and love my ass. Um, yeah. Right, guys, I've got to go, but I'll be back later. I've literally got to go because the kids are home. Yeah. Ellie?